Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today's episode I'm going to show you how to use the fieldwork mode in Cosplay. So if we right click and bring out the Cosplay HUD, we want to go into the fieldwork mode which is this one here. Now the, the reason we want to do that is we want to have this button here activated. That button is only activated in either fieldwork mode or in fertilizer and seeding mode. I can show you here. If you go into the grain transport the button is not activated. If you go into combine mode, not activated. The same goes for overloader, but then when you come to the seeding and fertilizing, there you have it. And again with the field work, there you have it. So we want to have this one here activated. This button here is the course generation. And this is basically where we tell our tractor or our course play what to do here. So we know that we want to be on field number 14 here, so we can do this in a couple of different ways. We can either calculate, we go into this one here, and we drive into the field, like so. We can uh, calculate the current field field's edge path. If we do that, see it brings up a blue line all the way around the field. That's one way of doing it, but since we told the course play mod to... Um, since we told the cosplay mod to scan our fields at the very beginning, we can just go into this one here and we can say that we want it to use field 14, which is this one. Now, the cosplay mod is clever enough to know that it should only suggest the fields that you own. Now, in this case, we own field number 12, 14 and 15. So that is the only three fields that we will have suggested. So we know that it's field number 14. Now if I click this icon here, I can show the edge of the field, which is the exact same blue line as we had right before. So far, so good. So where we, the next thing we want to tell it is the working width of the tool that we have behind us. Now we can do that either manually, by doing like this. And it says it's a manual, um, it's something we've done manually or we can press the calculator which will automatically um, show us the width of the machinery and you see if I can do like this that might be better you might be able to see it here this little red line indicates the width of the machinery so in this case the machinery is three meters and that is what we want well basically we want it to have a little bit of overlap so we're going to put it to 2.9 uh, meters Next thing we want to tell it is which corner do we want to start in. So in this uh, in this instance here, we want to start in the southern western corner, and you can see north is up here. Oh, that's the southern eastern corner. Sorry, north is up here, east is here, south is here, and west is here. So we basically want to tell it to start in this corner down here. So it's the south east corner there we go and we want it to head west there we go now the headlands oh ah, sorry we we'll just skip one return to the first point we're going to activate this here because what it's going to do is when when the course play worker is done if i haven't activated the return to the first point um he's going to start wherever he's finished if I activate return to the first point, he's going to try to make it back here, not going to try. He is going to make it back to where he started from, which in this case will be in this corner here. Uh, next one is the headlands. Now, on a field like this, you don't really need to use the headlands. The field is square and there is no obstacles in the way of the worker to actually turn around. So you can go ahead and, and work on this field without using headlands. Had there been like a massive row of trees right here or a building or whatever it may be, some something that could uh, prohibit the worker in actually turning around outside of the field, you would have to use headlands, which basically is the worker going around on the outer side of the field, making um, a headland there that he can use to turn around on. So you can choose here, you can either scroll with your mouse wheel, or see, no, you can't. Well, you can press here and you can tell them how many 
how many times does he have to go around in order to be finished with the headlands and this basically showed that he starts out with the headlands and then he goes into driving up and down as this icon indicates if you want him to go the other way around that might be when you're doing seeding you can press that one there and you can tell him that you want him to go up and down first and then finish up with the headlands now in this case we don't want to use headlands so let's deactivate that so now he knows basically what to do on this field here so if we click on this one that's going to generate the field course and you can see we have this little icon here that tells us this is where he's going to start and let's see if we can find the finish point for this it should be it's going to stop up here then up in this corner furthest away from the start point I guess I can't actually seem to find oh no wait uh, we activated return to the first point so if we hadn't activated that he would have stopped in the corner up there but seeing as we activated it he's gonna go down here and you can see we have the stop sign here so he's gonna return to here and that's basically it now we've set up this course for this field here now let's say that we want we know that we're going to use this course again at some point so we might want to save it so we don't have to set it up every time you can press this little floppy disk here which is the save icon and once you do that you are able to uh, type in the name of, of the save here now I I like to do it in a logical way so I know that this is oh shit I need to mark it there we go I know this is field 14 I know I'm cultivating and I know it's three meters wide now by doing this and return to save course so there we go by doing this I have the course over here field 14 cultivate three meters by setting it up this way I know that this course here is for the field 14 I know it's for cultivating and I know the width is three meters so if I go back here and I press this one there you can see we're back to not having any course loaded I can load the course by pressing this one here it says down in the bottom load course or merge into loaded course so if I load it and go back here you can see he's back to the original one so to get him started I press this icon here which is the play stop uh, pause and record I have the option to drive the course and start the course at the nearest waypoint in my case I want to start in at the first waypoint so I press drive course and if I jump out he's gonna drive on, on his own so there we go he's off doing what he's supposed to do which is um, basically cultivating the field so if I do go down to the other end here we're gonna see what it's going to happen when he's done with the first lane he should then turn around and line up the tool for going the other direction Let's see if he does it now again it, it's not a problem um, that he goes outside or she is a, a female it's not a problem that she goes outside the field to to turn around um, seeing as there are no obstacles at the end of the field so she's gonna line up the tractor and the cultivator to go the other direction there we go and she's off how great is that so that's how the field work mode works you are probably going to use this mode for most of the equipment you're going to use this mode for when combining you're going to use this mode for cultivating plowing for mowing for your tethers for your forage wagon and so on you are basically going to use this mode for pretty much all of, of the work that you do except for fertilizing and seeding but we're going to come to that in another episode and now she's going to line up to go the other way around again there we go it looks great so once she's done she's going to return to that point so i'm going to skip the video ahead to when she's done 
And here we go, our worker is just about done now. Uh, only a couple of more runs to go. So, one thing I want to show you is, if you go into the settings tab, which is this one, you can click here, show waypoints, um, and it would actually show you the entire layout of the course. So we can see that it's going to turn around here, it's going to go back down, and then it's going to come up to this corner up here again, you can see there. That's where it's going to stop, and then it's going to head back down to the starting point. So you can press these buttons here, these icons here, and you can uh, you can choose whether or not you want to show the waypoints. You've got a couple of other things here, like beacon lights on the street and so on. Um, so there are various things to play around with. Another thing you can do, uh, you can see, is how much longer is left of this course play. You can see either in time or in actually waypoints. Uh, and you can also see the field, uh, or sorry, the course that is currently uh, loaded. So let's just have a look here. Let's see if our worker is, is going to return to the starting point which would be over in the corner over there so the worker is going to turn around and it's going to go up to the corner up here now let's get up here and wait for the worker now through the magic of editing our work has turned from a female into a male um, that's just how it goes sometimes but he's going to appear over the hill and gonna go down to there he is and he's gonna go down to the starting point in the opposite corner now if we hadn't activated return to the first waypoint he would have stopped up here here he comes another nifty little feature about cosplay is if you look at the minimap uh, you can see that the icon is saying CP and it's 8340 field 14 cultivate 3 meters so it's basically showing us that it's the core play it's driving the new holland 8340 and he's on the field 14 course cultivate 3 meter course so he's returning to the first waypoint now this is going great and we're following following him along the way here so here he is now we should get a notification that the cosplay worker is done when he's down here. Let's have a look. And there we go, just above the minimap. 80, 8340 number 1 has finished work. So there you go guys, that's it for this little tutorial on the field work in cosplay. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.